Welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to take a close look at um, the effect that you see out there on the net where it uh, makes um, vector items grow or appear to grow on the screen. And we're going to do this within After Effects. It's a program that's within the CS5 suite. And it's fairly simple and a basic program, so you should be able to follow along uh, quite easily. This is how it'll look. We'll go ahead and scroll forward here uh, with our timeline. And basically, it gives the appearance of vines growing. It's pretty cool. It's done through a mask process, and it's fairly simple. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Come up here to Composition, choose New Composition. Uh, we'll name this Comp. We'll just call it Grow Vine. DVC Pro HD 27. I mean 720. I apologize. Um, 30 seconds per, uh, per frames per second is fine. You can keep it there, 29.97, whichever you want to do. Resolution is set at half. Uh, that way it, it renders a little bit quicker. You can see the finished product a little better. Background will keep uh, black, and we'll hit OK. All right. I have a few choices I want to go with, but I think for this and, and the uh, example we showed you, we're just going to stick with the green spirals. I'm going to take that, drop it right onto our composition space here and there's our green spirals and they're perfect very nice so here is what we're gonna do we're gonna use the pen tool like we've done in other tutorials and we're gonna go ahead and keep this selected keep the green spiral um, AI vector uh, layer selected and we're going to start here at the point we're gonna click and we're gonna drag this out so it matches that particular curve that portion down and we're gonna follow through here try to do this fairly quickly at some point you'll probably have to uh, zoom in the reason being is that the uh, vector becomes real close knit here toward the center you'll see what I'm talking about don't have to be perfect perfect but it does help uh, especially if you start getting more and more intricate uh, with what you're going to have appear to grow within your composition. So take that into account as well. Here we scroll in, Command Plus to bring this up. Actually, we'll bring this back a little bit more and we can get that curve a little better. Sure, the uh, adjustment bars, control bars, some uh, artists call them handlebars and Control bars are fine. And we're finishing up here on this one. Um, and there we go. Okay, I'm going to pan back out. Control uh, minus there to come back out. And we'll do this particular spiral. Oh, sorry. Do this particular spiral. Hit Shift Select. Z back. Make sure I didn't add any more in there. I'm just going to zoom back in. No, that's fine. Very good. Okay, we'll go back to our pen tool. Apologize for that. A little bit of slight delay. Oh, stop it. Um, command Z, Command Z, over, undo. And again, we're going to start with the the masking process again on this particular spiral. The reason why we do it on the same layer is that when we do add the effect, it'll affect both layers. Um, I'm sorry, both items uh, that are on the screen instead of layering this out. We could layer it out and that would be fine. We could have more control with it that way. But for this particular tutorial, we're just going to keep it as such. Bring that control um, control bar back up, keep our curve nice and stable, and we're going to zoom back in, mask the rest of this particular spiral, and try to finish this up before the second part here comes up. Very good. Okay, so that's part one, and tune in to the next tutorial for part two.